All right, all right. It's that time of year again. June 1, the Atlanta hurricane season 2022. A lot of people new to Florida have never endured a hurricane before. There's a lot of things you need to know about your home should a hurricane strike. Anthony you notes know, long been said, get the water away from the foundation of the home, especially with gutters and where they discharge that water onto the property. You're right. Gutter maintenance is really important. You want to make sure when the water is coming out of here, mm -hmm. it's flowing with six feet away from the foundation. Mm -hmm. So right here we have is a little bit too much moisture. Right. Luckily, the grading here lets out water slope away, but I'd love to see an extender here that just helps to make sure that moisture is going away from the house. Everywhere across Florida, Northeast, South and West, we have stucco on the outside of a home, seemingly every house, right? Susceptible though to the Florida heating and expansion, which causes cracks. Absolutely. Now, when you see a stucco crack, part of routine maintenance is going to be to patch, mm -hmm. seal and repaint over any crack you see. When that crack gets to the point where you can fit a quarter on its edge inside of it, it's too wide and you're for sure going to have moisture intrusion. So stucco cracks should definitely be patched and sealed as soon as you see them. Onto the windows, something that is really overlooked, the ceiling around the edges. If it's bad and it's failing, water and wind will come right in through the windows, right? Absolutely. The easiest thing a homeowner can do is walk around and check for the seals around their window. Mm -hmm. If you start to see any cracked ceiling, any gaps or anything missing in between here, mm -hmm. you need to replace it. The first place the moisture typically comes into a house is when there's failed sealing around the window. So it's one of the easiest things to do. Go to a box store, get a can of tuba sealant, and go around the edge of all the windows, let that harden, and your window will be perfectly sealed. Nice and tight. Yep. You know what? Another thing that's easily overlooked, kind of out of sight, out of mind, is right here under the eaves of the roof here, this soffits. And Anthony, that's somewhere that if it isn't sealed right, you're going to get wind in there through those gaps and a lot of moisture. Moisture destroys everything. That's right. And actually, one of the first things that's going to go before your roof is going to be the soffits. So if those aren't sealed properly and if there's any loose spots or any gaps in between there, wind's going to come in and rip all of that down. And once all of that comes down, you leave that all open for moisture to come in there. Mm -hmm. And also, you allow wind to come in there and tear up the roof from underneath. So soffits need to be sealed before anything else. And it's a cheap fix. I mean, you go to a box store like we do with the windows, you get that sealant, and it's easy as one, two, three on a ladder, right? Same thing. Just go around and seal and make sure that there's not any gaps in between or any loose panels, and you're good to go. I call that a Sunday project. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, finally, Anthony, the big ticket item, the rooftop. They come in all different shapes and sizes here in Florida, from ceramic tile to asphalt to just about anything, you name it, right? What do our viewers need to know about roofs and tropical weather? So when it comes to roofs, the first thing you want to think about is the age. Anytime you've got a roof that's over 20 years old, it's getting towards the end of its life expectancy. If you've got a newer roof, you want to look at your shingles, making sure that they're all tied down, making sure there's not any loose or missing shingles, any spots where there might be moisture coming in. Let's say that there's a uh, exposed nail head, or maybe there's a hole from from an old satellite dish. We want to make sure all that stuff is sealed to make sure there's not any moisture intrusion coming into it. All right, friends, as we just showed you, it's not a matter of if, it's when our next tropical storm or hurricane comes to us here in Central Florida. But as we showed you with our expert, Anthony, with a little bit of extra weekend time, a little cash in hand to buy supplies, you can secure your property against the next system that comes to us here in Central Florida. In Winter Garden, I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Jamie King, and you're prepared for the next tropical system that could come to town.